Besides sports remotes that covered the Lancers' basketball action, another remote broadcast was made from an airplane with yours truly at the controls. I was covering the St. Mary's Walkathon, which was an activity specially tailored to raise money for students' tuition at St. Mary's. And now we take you back up above the skies of Lancaster with WCMH General Manager Mike Arnold and a report on the Walkathon. Okay, thank you, Tim. This is Mike Arnold up above Lancaster again. And uh, the Walkathon has uh, just moved out of Dutch's Dairy. They're going down Broadway now and they're going to weave their way through D2. They're going to be going up the North State, uh, down some uh, Gold Avenue, Suffield, uh, down some uh, side streets in D2, New York, and weave their way through there. Uh, right now, I see some stragglers in the back just uh, departing Dutch's Dairy. Uh, see the cleanup crew down there, Mr. Ridby with his crew down there cleaning up after the walk of that. And uh, there are just a few stragglers left at Dutch's Dairy right now. They all seem to be going up uh, Broadway, and uh, they're going, leaving through DQ. Then they're going to make a uh, turn on the Broadway, go over to Broadway, over to their next stop point, uh, Fireman's Park in DQ, New York, uh, for another rest. Then they're going to be heading north on transit. So uh, for now, this is Mike Arnold, uh, Bob Lancaster. Uh, we'll see you later. Well, Tim, this is going to be our last report for today. We've been up here since 9 o'clock giving you reports uh, on the half hour of the St. Mary's High School March down. I just went over to St. Peter Paul Church over there, and it looks like uh, there's just a few more stragglers coming on their way home, coming up to St. Mary's High School, but the majority of them look like they're all back in school. All the buses are back there waiting for the kids to get back for their 2.30 ride. They're all sitting outside waving at me flying over. But uh, the majority of them look like they're back. It looks like it's been a successful day. I hope we've got some pledges on the radio. It's, uh, it's been a real good day. It hasn't rained out. It uh, hasn't been too hot. It hasn't been too cold. So the weather has been uh, very nice. And uh, I hope uh, all the pledges come through for them. Uh, I'm glad to do my little part that I've done today for the St. Mary's uh, Walk Night. This is Mike Arnold of Lancaster. It's been my pleasure today bringing you the walk down on St. Mary's High School in Lancaster, New York. We'll see you later. There you have some of the highlights of this past broadcasting year for WSMH Radio. I hope during the past year you have enjoyed some of these highlights as they happen. We hope for the year 75-76 we will be able to improve and refine our programming that was presented this past broadcast year. I would like to thank, first of all, the seniors that will be graduating this year. Peggy Maka for her time and for the Mystic, her time as a disc jockey, and also for doing a great job as a secretary of the radio club. Marty Borton for his duties as a music director and for his work in production. Brian Klager for his unselfish help with many things behind the scenes and for his announcing. Gary Yergi for hosting and producing Horse Sense and for being on hand when we were short of manpower. Joe Navarita for his time he put in down here at the station. Ken Mancone for his disc jockey abilities. Don Nichter for his work in the sports field and for being the voice of the St. Mary's Lancers and for hosting Sports Talk. John Cumminser for his time as a play-by-play -play announcer of the JV Lancers and for being a panelist on Sports Talk and for engineering at some of the Lancaster Village board meetings. Paul Schmidt for his time put in at being the color man for the JV Lancers and for being a panelist on Sports Talk. Al Humka for putting in a large amount of time by engineering. Steve Podozik for being news director and putting together the news for each broadcast day. Dave Skapeter for his time as a fill-in announcer. And Mark Oswald for engineering at the Lancaster Village board meetings. And I also would like to thank the underclassmen who all contributed to making WSMH run smoothly. Connie Oswald, Linda Small, Greg Klein, Paul Glutzak, Wendy Duddle, John Hamilton, Chris Musial, and to Tim Klein for doing a great job as program director and as a technician. Many thanks to Father Lauren Nyes, the public relations director of the school, who did an outstanding job in the way of publicizing the station. Not enough thank yous can be said to these two people. They both have done a phenomenal job. Joe Momont, who was a chief engineer, did so many things unselfishly, on his own time to help myself in the station that I would just like to say thank you in the sincerest way. And to Kathy Haas, sec the station secretary, who did a fantastic job behind the scenes and really never getting the appreciation that she fully deserved, thank you very much. And last but not least, to you, our listeners, for tuning in and giving us the satisfaction of enlightening and entertaining you. I hope you all have a very good summer, and remember to tune in again this coming September to WSMH. This is Mike Arnold. Good night.
This is Educational Radio Station, WSMH-FM, licensed to St. Mary's High School, 142 Laverack Avenue, Lancaster, New York. WSMH-FM operates on an assigned carrier frequency of 91.3 megahertz with a transmitter output power of 10 watts. Our studio and transmitting facilities are located on the St. Mary's High School campus at 142 Laverack Avenue, Lancaster, New York. WSMH-FM now concludes another broadcast day. This is WSMH-FM at 91.3 MHz in Lancaster, New York. Portions that have been heard on WSMH-FM today have been pre-recorded.